Hi, are you wondering if you can ask better questions in your step family to get a little bit further? There is some things you can do. I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. I want to talk to you this week about questions and making them as good as they possibly can be, especially for teenagers and young people. It can be especially useful in a step family. Let me explain. If we're trodling along on life and there is no need to ask a question and nothing comes up, life just carries on. But then occasionally we get tripped up and we think, oh, I wonder what happened there. Or I wonder if my stepson or daughter did this or borrowed that or used this or spent their money this way or... And you think to yourself, well, I must ask them about that. And then the next time you see them, you say, oh, did you spend that money on X? And immediately that question has come from somewhere in, your, in you. It's, it's, it's predetermined by your thoughts. And it's not a clean question or a question without strings. So a lot of the time, questions come from a place where we are checking out something that's an assumption we've make, made or, or, or a situation we're wanting to know the answer to, a suspicion or a, a fear or um, a worry about something. And so our questions come from there. And the secret is, is that Although sometimes we do need to ask questions for clarification, it is a good idea to just develop the skill of asking questions without any strings attached at all. So they're completely kind of clean of any um, assumptions we, we might make. So questions that you can think about in advance and just make sure that you've taken out anything in the question that shows your prejudice towards what you want the answer to be. The thing is, you do get a lot further and you build more trust by making sure that the questions you ask aren't littered with prejudices of your own. And really, it is interesting how all questions, just about all questions, come from somebody's assumptions and suspicions about things. You do an experiment this week. Every time somebody asks you a question, think to yourself, do I know what they're thinking before they've asked it? How Do I know their motivation for asking it? And nine times out of ten, you will. Then, Look at the questions that you ask of everybody, not just in the step family situation, but our questions come from within us. So, and that's a negative because we bring with us all our prejudices. So clean up your act and concentrate when you're talking to your, in your step family situation on just asking questions in a totally open way. So the answer isn't predetermined and you're genuinely asking the question. It really is worth looking at this because it's so interesting to watch where other people's questions come from, understand our questioning preferences and be able to concentrate on asking better questions. We run workshops, sessions, we have an email response service and we write booklets. You can find links to our social media and website 
in the description box below.